Hey guys, it's Elizabeth of ERWPlans.com. Uh, today I'm going to go over the brand new passion planners for 2021. The first thing I'll do is I'm just going to show you three of the new three new styles. There's some new colors, some old colors coming back. Um, and first I just wanted to kind of show you the new styles that are out. Uh, we'll do a color comparison and then we'll do kind of a comparison on uh, ringed uh, planners. So first thing we'll do, I'll go over the three new planners. We have, this is the medium um, in the 2021 dated. Um, I got uh, Monday start monthly. This is the Pacific Blue. And for the most part, this is going to be the same as the medium or pro size has been for the last two years. Um, it's a B5, standard B5 size, uh, back page, like it's pretty much your standard passion planner. Uh, there's, it's pretty much, yeah, exactly the same. So this is pretty standard. If you like the standard passion planner, this will be perfect for you. Uh, they, and that come, this one comes in uh, four different colors this year. Uh, so there's Elite Black, Forest Green, Rose Gold, and the Pacific Blue. For the first time, like ever, they're doing a hardcover. And this isn't just for like the VIPs they did a hardcover for last year. This is actually like a hardcover for like you can buy. And this is the Serpent Spring and it's got a design on it. That's snake. I like snakes. So I'm, I was kind of, I think this is kind of cute. Um, and inside, again, it's it's a standard passion planner on the inside. Uh, same number of pages as the other one. Dot grid, blank pages, everything stays the same. What's interesting um, on this one is that it comes with two bookmarks and they're not green. So this, if you're like me and you've been adding a bookmark every year, you're not gonna be able to add any bookmarks to the hardcover. As you can see here, there's no space to kind of slide that down. But you have two that come with it and they're not green. They actually kind of go with the pattern of the snake one. So um, this is the hardcover and I will show you this in comparison to the hardcovers that the uh, Passion Planner VIPs got last year. And then the last one that I was actually really excited on the ambassador call when they announced this is the, the last one, the one I was really excited about when they announced this on the Passion Planner call is the Spiral Bound. Um, let me get this open. It comes in, I believe, all three sizes. I will have to. Okay. Like so many spiral bounds, you have this thing to cut off here. Um, the first thing I will tell you is that the dimensions are different. Uh, you, it's hard to see here, but I'll put it up like this. This one is actually shorter than this one. Um, the outside cover and then the pages inside are actually bigger. This one is 6.9 inches long or wide on the pages. And this one is uh, seven inches wide on the pages. So it's, the pages are slightly wider on this. Um, what I have heard directly from passion planners that they had to make some changes to the dimensions on the inside in order to um, allow for the spiral. Uh, it comes with this bookmark. Take that out to show you. Bookmark. It's not the thickest, but it's also not the uh, bookmark that I've had for this kind of thing. It's not the thinnest. Um, there's definitely, I feel like there's a different paper quality, but I could be wrong. I would have to compare them. And inside, it's your standard passion planner. Now, there's been some confusion and some controversy in the community about the width of the columns and the width of the boxes compared to the old planners. Um, so... The first thing I kind of want to tackle with the spiral is, are the boxes the same size? 
Because if you're going to buy stickers from me, from Chelsea, from literally anyone else, they might not fit. So I'm just going to open it up. This is my hardbound serpent one. I can tell you just looking at them, they're different. They're different widths. I can, I, I can eyeball it. So that's pretty significant. Um, it appears that the box widths on these are about... 48 and a half, almost 49, but just slightly off from 49. And on these, I gotta move this over so you can see it and so the spiral doesn't get in the way of the roller. These, they are 41 inches, or 41 centimeters, millimeters. 41 millimeters wide here, 38 and a half millimeters wide here. Um, I don't think the height should be a problem. Let's see. 32-ish versus, yeah, 32. So the boxes are the same height, but these are a good two and a half centimeters narrower than these. So if you're getting a kit from me or from Chelsea, it's not going to fit this planner. They're going to be wider than your, the, the gray boxes are going to be wider than your boxes. Um, this part here is going to be wider than what you have. It's not going to fit right, just so you know. Um, Chelsea has already announced that she's not going to be making a separate series for the spiral. Um, I am in complete agreement with that, and I'm not going to be doing it either. So it is a lot of inventory <laughs> for a small business to handle that much difference. Um, the columns, for the record, um, are about from gray box to the end of the gray line, about 38. And over here, they're 40. 40? Yep. 40. So once again, I, I can eyeball it, tell you these are wider than these columns. So it's stickers, if you have stickers that you got from medium previously, they're not gonna fit in your spiral bound. You will need to find a shop that will be making stickers for the spiral bound, it's not mine. It's not Chelsea's. Now, you could use small, if you're up to the large, you could use a smaller size sticker and it just, it won't be too large, it'll be too small. Um, and if you don't mind trimming them, you could get the or correct, the large sticker for the large spiral bound planner and then cut it down yourself. But understand that out of the box, my stickers, and definitely Chelsea stickers are not going to fit in this planner. And that is it. That's not anybody's fault. That's just the nature of adding this spiral means that you have, you, you lose this kind of gutter here and you have this big gap. And so they have to make up for that somehow. And then you just squeeze it all down. So that's the most, I think uh, yeah, as a sticker creator, that's the most important part for me. So stickers not going to fit in here if you buy them from my store and if you buy them from Chelsea's store, they're not going to fit in here. You're going to have to, you know, cut, paste something with them. So there's that. So next I want to talk about the colors for the regular passion planner, um, the traditional, we'll call it passion planner. Um, this is the Pacific blue. It's a bit more blue. Then it looked on the website. On the website, it looked a good deal indigo, kind of like my um, business color indigo. And it's it's actually quite blue. Um, not as blue as the academic from two years ago that was like a dark blue, almost black, but it's pretty blue. Uh, for comparison, this is the um, aqua blue from two years ago. So you can see this is like a bright, bright blue. Um, so that's their new color. They are reintroducing rose gold, which I thought was in the dailies. It's not in the daily, so I don't have an example of the rose gold for you. They're also doing the forest green, which is actually the same as the lush green in the dailies. Um, again, for comparison, this is the aqua blue. I'll get this out of the plastic here so you can see that the green is, uh, is yellower. It is decidedly a yellower color. So there's the old 
aqua blue versus the forest green. It's a darker color. It's a greener color. All right. Um, and then we have, you'll, it's also available in elite black. Um, I think the biggest thing with the covers, the, this is the, like I said before, the, uh, daily, which will be in the same color. The new ones for 2021, the cover has a different feel to it. It's a bit less of that. This feels very foamy. This one had, it, they kind of went not all the way back to the leather texture of this one, but it, this is, it's closer to the texture and the feel of the uh, 2019 planner than it is to the 2020 planners. So that's the cover and the colors for these planners. Like I said, the fourth color is rose gold. Um, it is between the blush blossom and the champagne um, that they're available for the dailies. It's, I think it's a really pretty color. I just have like three of them. <laughs> so that was not, that was not for me, but um, yeah, that's, so those are those. And then the next thing I wanna do is compare this hardcover to the hardcover that, that it was the VIP uh, holiday gift last year. So I'll do a quick review of the Serpent Spring first. Um, the first thing that I noticed when I got this was I thought my cover was like jacked up because it looked scratched, it looked kind of worn down. And then the more I looked at it, I realized that's the uh, texture of the painting that they've used for the Serpent Spring thing. It's got this kind of faux painting, faux distressed kind of texture to it. So if you get it and you're like, it looks distressed. Well, yeah, it looks like it's scratched up. It, it's supposed to look like that. Just so, you know, like I keep trying to get these like scratches and marks off of it and it's, it's part of the design. So there's that. And then um, the other thing I'll say right off the bat is that the cover does, because of the way the cover is printed, uh, if you can see, this is this actually is an indentation. When they shipped the planner, they shipped it with the band on. And so there's actually an indentation in the front cover from the elastic band. I'm assuming from not only when it was shipped to me, but also when it was shipped to Passion Planner from their manufacturer in China, that it's just, there's so much, there's been pressure on it. I do not know, because I have, I just got this yesterday. I do not know if this will kind of heal itself in time, like with some of the older planners. But that's our uh, 12 month uh, hardcover. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to compare it to the one that, the VIP one from last year that they sent out to so some of the reps. I was very lucky enough to get. Um, as some of you guys know, I did a transplant on mine, so I added some you know, internal stuff. I changed the pages that so was more of a journal. Uh, if you saw my nano video, you'll know that I did that. Um, and added, took out the back page and made a flip out page here. Uh, so, but this this actually took the transplanting really well. The cover, let me put it down here, has a really good sound to it. It's really firm it doesn't move it's it's it kind of reminds me of like an old library book kind of thing um it's got the, this is beautiful that it's kind of engraved here this is engraved and shiny this is this is a beautiful planner and i love it dearly um it is if this is what you're expecting with the serpent spring you're gonna be disappointed uh this is this beautiful fabric cover this is a very uh this is a press printed book I'm a photographer. I sell these or I sell books like these um, as my cheap, cheapest option for an album uh, for my clients. And this is pretty much it. It's, um, I don't know if you can, let me show you. It bends. It bends really easily. It's not very stiff. Um, the good news is this one, the binding is really good on it. Um, a test for all your books, whether it's an album, or a planner is to do this and you can't see because I don't have the camera down this way but if you hold your book up like this look at the binding here if you see a gap in it then it's, it's kind of a lesser quality this is a good quality binding I like the binding quality a lot on this um, I just I really am not the cover feels this is more like a 
hardback book that you might get at like Barnes and Noble. Kind of thing like that. It, it, it's a cross print book. That's what it is. It has some, you can see here, do this here, has some give to it. So if you were worried that it's going to be kind of too stiff, like this one, it, it don't, it does not move. It does not move. Cover is a solid piece. You're not bending this sucker. Um, if that was a concern for you, because like you wanted to do a transplant, like if you want to get the small serpent spring and then put your daily into it, the binding I think will have enough give to it. You can kind of see here, down here. The binding's gonna have enough give to it that if you do a transplant on this, it, you're not gonna screw it up. Um, you're not gonna, like it, it can take a few more pages. It could, this will definitely expand with your stickers. So if your concern is that you're going to get it, it's going to be, you know, get chunky and kind of bust. This, this is going to give you enough give to have a bit of a chunky planner. Um, not as much as the traditional, but it will have some give to it. So if that was your concern, that don't, don't be concerned, just understand you're not getting this planner. And listen, this one I did a transplant with extra pages into it. And like you can see, it, it would have expanded as well with the chunk. This one will expand just fine. It's actually going to expand better than this one did. So that's Serpent Spring compared to the VIP one. And now here, I decided to compare it also to my old Lectrum, because uh, I used to do bullet journaling. So this is a Lectrum, two bookmarks, just like two bookmarks here. Uh, same thing with the really nice binding. My pages don't kind of buckle here. When I lift it up like that, they stay flush. Um, this is old and you can see that it doesn't have, the cover here is stiffer. It still gives, it still has some give to it. You can see it's not as stiff as the Passion Planner VIP gift last year, but it's definitely stiffer than this one. This one, I can just pull on it like this and it kind of, it'll wiggle up. This one, not so much. Um, better quality paper in the Passion Planner one for sure. I could not watercolor in this. And I have yet to see how this will hold up. This one got thrown around in my bag for quite some time. So you can see it's been nicked and dented and which is a general problem with uh, press printed books is that the cover will dent and nick like that. Um, I don't know how this one will hold up. I'm not sure. Um, this one has, a, this has a much smoother cover because like I said, again, it's a press printed image. And what I mean by that is the image, the Serpent Spring image, has been printed on a material. Um, usually it's like a really glossy uh, cardstock and then it gets glued into the binding here. It's actually glued over the binding. And I honestly would not be surprised if it was glued over something that's very similar to the regulars. So the final comparison I will do is gonna be the Spiral Passion Planner and the Spiral Amplify Planner. Um, first things first, they're both technically B5 sized, but the Amplify cover at the very least is clearly bigger. Uh, you can you just put them on the even edge there. You can see the top there bigger. I put them down here, the cover's bigger. If I line them up by the pages, not by the cover, the it's still wider for the Amplify. The Amplify, I feel like is a traditional B5 size. This is, feels just a little off uh, size-wise. Um, so there's that. Um, so you, you have like a different size uh, thing going on here. And then um, paper quality, because that's a really important to a lot of people, actually. Okay, so. So first things first, these are both B5 planners, but as you might be able to see the cover on the Amplify is definitely bigger. Um, paper size wise, if I'm just comparing the paper, they're about the same. This one's a little narrower than this one. 
and I think that just comes down to the bindings on them. Uh, the spiral binding here is clearly a good chunk bigger than the spiral binding on this one. Cover wise, this one, this Passion Planner cover feels like it's just the same cover material as your regular Passion Planner, but they've used like a harder cardboard for the cover. So it's somewhere between the hard cover and the soft cover planners. Um, the Amplify is very pla is, is a plastic that has a interesting feel to it. It's kind of, I can't describe the feeling other than like, like, uh, it's just, it feels soft without actually being soft because it's plastic. And that sounds really weird, but once you've touched it, you'll understand what I mean, that it doesn't feel like plastic. Like there's a nice coating to it. It almost feels like there's a bit of a cushion to it, um, but it's definitely thinner. So it's going to be, I would say, more likely to bend a bit than this one. This one's definitely thicker. This one, actually, when I saw this in the rep meeting, it really reminded me of the sketchbooks I used to get at Michael's. And honestly, the cover is really similar to those sketchbooks I used to buy at Michael's. And um, the, the coils are also really similar to the, those old style sketchbooks. Now I don't have one to show you what I mean, but if you've been to Michael's and you bought a sketchbook there, you'll, you'll know what I mean. Um, paper quality wise, now Amplify just did a new paper quality uh, for their quarter fours. This is a quarter three. Uh, so this is the paper that they'll normally have. And it feels, this feels really smooth. It, it has really good, like, writability to it. Like, it, it takes ink beautifully. Um, I really like this paper. It feels very similar to the usual Fashion Planner paper. This feels rougher. And I don't know why. It feels better inside. The first page feels kind of rough. It's definitely a different material than what's inside. Inside is similar to the uh, Amplify paper. It's just a little, it feels a little thinner. I think it's a different paperweight. Um, smooth, smooth. Uh, Amplify does not come with a bookmark. This one does come with a bookmark. So there we go. Uh, Amplify is a quarterly. This is a yearly, so you're getting a whole year. Amplify has the monthlies just like the Passion Planner does. Okay. Um, Amplify has the weekly spread, the horizontal weekly spread, whereas the Passion Planner has the vertical weekly spread. The big difference in why this is quarterly and still pretty chunky is that this has dailies in it, this one does not. So if you're like, well, what's the difference between this, no, this no dailies, dailies one quarter full year um tabs included no tabs included uh there's fewer back pages in the amplify um i believe it's 12 spreads of dot grid and the passion planner is a uh, 20 and 20 spreads and a spread is two pages by the way so yeah the Passion Planner is more empty back pages. Uh, difference in pockets. The pocket on this is absolutely removable. It's a cardboard kind of pocket thing here. Uh, passion Planner pocket, just like every Passion Planner, is glued to the back cover. It's material, and it's easily removable. If you don't want a pocket, this one, if you want to remove the pocket, just kind of cut here, remove it. This one, if you want to remove the pocket, you're going to have to take like a spatula tool or something and go under the glue here, and then you can remove it. Um, if you're like me and you like to hack your planner, that would be how you would do it. The other big thing, this has the ribbon bookmark. The Amplify does not have, or, have, or the ribbon. I use it as a bookmark. I don't always use it to keep the whole thing closed. Um, if I need a third or fourth or fifth bookmark, depending on how many I've already added, I can just kind of mark my week there. And ta-da. Um, so yeah. So that's the comparison between the Amplify and the Passion Planner Spirals. Um, if you're wondering, well, which one should I get? 
uh, do you need a daily planner would be my first question if you don't need a daily planner you're wasting the majority of the pages in here so get the passion planner um, that's pretty much what I would say if you want different sizes you're gonna go want, want to go with the passion planner because you can get this is the medium you can get the large you can get the small so you can have different sizes do keep in mind that you're once again as I said at the beginning these are going to be narrower than it was on your other planners in the past so if you have a small passion planner these columns are going to be even narrower than normal uh, and they're normally pretty narrow so just do keep that in mind if you get this in a small size and otherwise it's I really feel like it's comparing apples and oranges but I know people have been asking about the comparison because this like I said this is a daily it's it's for a different a completely different planner than someone who needs a weekly it includes a weekly but it's also just a quarterly um, but yeah that's I mean both of these are gonna give you plenty apple ample space to grow uh, to bulk your planner up because of the coils um, this one is honestly easier to transport because it's thinner because it isn't 52 weeks plus 12 months plus all the extra pages in the back um, both of them are nice as a spiral bound because if you don't want these front pages but you don't want to cover them with a sticker like I usually do you can just cut them out and you don't ruin your paper your planner at all so yeah that's that's the comparison between the spiral passion planner and the spiral amplify planner so finally the question really becomes which passion planner is right for you this year um, understanding that they all come in all three sizes so it's not a matter of which size is right for you it's really a matter of your cover preference um, and I would also again take into consideration do you have stickers from last year that you want to use in these planners because if you're like me and you buy your stickers in bulk so you can order them less frequently uh, the spiral bound your stickers that you've ordered in bulk are kind of useless and I can't speak for all, all the shops I know like I said mine and Chelsea's are definitely not going to do stickers for the spiral bound so you're going to need to find different shops if you're doing the spiral bound uh, if you don't do stickers and you like the idea that you can basically hack this planner as much as you want you can rip out pages that you don't want um, which is actually really beneficial if you like skip a couple weeks um, if 2021 is anything like this year hopefully it won't be but if 2021 is anything like this year and you end up going a couple weeks without planning because you're like quarantined or god knows what else um, you could actually just cut those pages out throw them away you don't have these blank pages kind of staring you in the face the downside is you cannot add pages just like you can't with these so this will get significantly thinner um, in fact I would say that was that would be for me one in addition to the sticker problem one of the big downsides for me with any coil planner is that it's more difficult to add pages you can still add a flippy page in here just you know flippy up or the Dutch door page which just goes like this but you're not gonna have it in the seam you're gonna be gluing it to this page itself and so it's gonna take you're gonna have less room to actually make your flippy or your Dutch door page rather um, and you're definitely if you're adding full and if you're adding full pages to this you're gonna have to actually add them almost over the timeline here to glue it here or add it over here so you, you lose some real estate unless you're going to glue it along this edge and flip it out this way which you could totally do um, the bonus for the spiral bounds is that it folds like this so if this is more comfortable for you to write in this way then this is going to be great for you um, if you're left-handed might not be the best option for you um, I as a person who's right-handed I get I can't write like this column is basically useless to me because I can't my hand rubs it, it no and I know a lot of left-handers also hate spiral bound because of the same thing on the other side so something else to consider can you live with the coils um, yeah that would be those would be my considerations when you're getting the coil bound I feel like if you wanted a coil bound you already knew you wanted a coil bound so that's just my personal opinion. 
So there we go. Uh, and then down to the hard cover or the soft cover. This is where I'm having my biggest quandary because I really wanted, well, what I really wanted, I'm gonna be honest, I really wanted this in a medium. That's what I really wanted. Or this in a daily. Also what I really wanted. Passion Planner, if you're listening, in daily. Um, these, for, for my annual, I, like I said, I'm really kind of torn on which one I want. Um, the interior is basically the same, even though the exterior looks different, because with the hardbound, you have more space at the top than you do here. So I put them edge to edge, you can see this one is slightly larger. Same thing here, slightly larger, but that's because you need more kind of gutter space for the hardbound. Um, if I measure the boxes inside, however, those are 41, just like they are in here. So they're actually, the pages are the same. It's just this cover is a little bit larger. It's gonna be a little bit larger on all three because it's a hard cover. Basically, it, it's, I feel like it's a difference of color design more than anything else. I feel like it would be an easier decision if the Serpent Spring was in the soft cover and like the blue was in the hard cover or the blue, the green, everything was in the hard cover because I like the extra ribbon. I really like the extra ribbon. I like that it's a harder cover so that it's going to be... Um, it's gonna stand up, I think, a bit better to damage. Um, something that's been going on with a lot of the planners since last year is that they don't hold up, or since 2019, I should say, that is last year. They don't hold up to damage very well. You can see here where this is peeling apart. Uh, my 2020, which is in another room, the, the, which I keep these in a cover. I have a Cocoa Paper Plus leather cover that all of these go in, and on my 2020, it's completely split here. This has completely split around here. So my cover is separating. Um, this one, you're not gonna have cover separation to worry about. I, I, because of the way it's manufactured, because you have the uh, chipboard here, which is what makes it hard. And then you have the photo paper wrapped around the outside and then the, paper, the uh, writing paper on the inside this is gonna be more durable. It's going to expand with your stickers. However, is it going to expand this much from that much versus that one? I don't know. I do not know. Um, I know in the past, like I said, I've seen the VIP ones in the past that were the medium size that were this cover and those held up beautifully but again they have as you can see a bit more flexibility this one not so much uh ultimately my recommendation would be if you like the color or the cover design let that be your guiding principle because there's not that much different on the inside if you're concerned about kind of being rough with your planners go with the hard cover i think it's going to be more durable um, don't let the bookmarks sway you. I have a video that'll show you how to add bookmarks to your soft cover. And I feel like if you're the type of person that does have a lot of planner chunk at the end of the year, go with this one. Uh, as for me, I haven't decided yet, but um, I'm definitely leaning more toward the, I think the hard cover this year, but we'll see. I, like I said, I'll, I'll make a decision and you guys will know about, you'll be the first to know about it. So uh, that's my review of the three new Passion Planner options for 2021 weeklies. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed this, please like and share the video with your friends. If you have questions or comments, uh, please make sure to leave a comment on the video. We generally go live every Wednesday at 7 a.m. However, sometimes we have special video drops on Mondays and Fridays. The best way to find out about a video drop that isn't on a Wednesday is to make sure to subscribe. Uh, until next week or until the next surprise video drop, this is Elizabeth. Thanks guys. Bye.